Clouds are out in full force today, clearing paths after the storm. But in Hampton, a reminder of the dangers of the job. A man was killed in an accident involving a snow plow. It happened as the private contractor was working on East Pembroke Avenue. Megan Shin has more on what happened. Well, you guys, as you can see, there's still crime tape left up here around this pole. And behind us, there's actually blood on the snow. We're not going to show you that out of respect for the snowplowers family. But also, Hampton Police tell us here off of East Pembroke Avenue is where the whole unfortunate incident happened to the snowplower. A life can change in an instant while on the job. We was out here plowing, you know, getting the snow right and all that stuff. And it was just a tragic accident, man. During this brutal blizzard, many people are working to plow snow from roads and parking lots. We've been working for almost, what, 18 hours? Those snow plowers say the job comes with a level of danger. And we're tired of working out 10 hours or more, and sometimes you don't pay attention to the back. You know, you can't see back of that pile. You know, there's no mirrors or none of that stuff. It's a lot of work and a lot of screaming going on and on, and this is what happened. Hampton police say one snowplow accident was all it took to kill 75-year-old Barry Hale. Oh, four. That's approximate. Police say Hale was independently contracted to clear the snow out of Treadquarters Discount Tires parking lot. Authorities say at some point while removing the snow, Hale was hit by his plow. New York Plowers Joe Buttons says he knew Hale. Bro, we all tight that community out here. Buttons says the tragic part is Hale's grandson was driving the plow at the time of the accident. Rest in peace to his family, man. You guys be safe out here while they plow. Hampton police tell us they expect to have the State Department of Labor continue this investigation. In Hampton, Megan Shin, 13 News Now.